What if I told you there was an easier way to mix multiple audio channels at the same time using your Zoom F6 audio mixer? I mean, it's one thing to record a single microphone, but it's another thing to mix multiple microphones all at once. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about an advantage the Zoom F6 has for mixing multiple audio channels all at once. As the video title says, we'll be using the Zoom F6's auto mix feature. This auto mix feature is going to automatically mix all of the audio channels being recorded, except for audio channel one, which is the boom mic. And the reason audio channel one is not being auto mixed is because when you're boom operating on set while mixing multiple audio channels, you want to make sure that the boom microphone is your priority. The priority meaning you're manually mixing the boom microphone audio into the rest of the mix. So let's set up the auto mix. Make sure you turn on auto mix for the channels that you want to auto mix. If certain channels are not turned on, they will not auto mix. I'm about to show you what happens when all of your audio channels are not auto mixed and the ending result, well, here you go. So right now my audio sounds pretty dang good because I'm not shouting into the microphone or anything, but if I were to shout into the microphone, then definitely the audio channels are peaking as you can see. But if I am to talk, whisper very silently and be very careful with the levels and volume, then everything sounds fine. But if I raise my voice again, then it starts to distort, which is not good. Now I'm going to show you what happens when all the other audio channels except for audio channel 1 is auto mixed. Here's the end result. So right now I am recording the audio in 24 bit. Audio channel 1 right here, that is the boom microphone. Audio channel 2, 3, 4, and 5 are the lab microphones. And so let's just say I'm recording a scene where we're speaking very silently. There's a buildup of commotion and so many things are happening. And then suddenly you get really loud and the boom microphone is distorting. But thankfully, the lab microphones are in auto mix mode. So they're not going to go overboard. Because it's literally impossible to grab all of these faders at the same time while boom operating and making sure your mix is going to stay consistent and that no audio levels are going to peak. So with the Zoom F6's auto mix feature having microphone channels 2, 3, 4, and 5 on auto mix, I can focus directly on the boom and make sure that if I want to increase the mix going into the boom, I can either lower it or I can raise it. But again, if I were to be speaking in a very low tone, and then suddenly get really loud, 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 the audio distorts with the boom microphone, not the labs. So why is this important? Well, this method of auto mixing is incredibly important because if you're a single boom operator and mixer on a set, if you're working as a one man band, you need to primarily focus on the boom microphone because it is literally impossible to focus on the boom mic along with five other audio channels. Overall, the auto mix just helps you not stress the other audio channels when you're mixing multiple channels at the same time. So when is a good time to use the Zoom F6's auto mix feature? Well, like I said before, when you're handling multiple things at once and there's no way that you can multitask a single microphone with five other microphones. I mean, again, you can't simply mix multiple things while you're handling a certain task. I mean, maybe you can, and if you are that talented let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your story. But I mean, your attention must be focused on the overall mix. And it's hard to focus on the overall mix when you're focusing on one microphone to another microphone, da 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 da. And then all the microphones are just unbalanced. And that's why the auto mix feature is so important. So, when would auto mixing not be necessary? Well, a good example would be when you have full control of all of the audio channels in your mix. So let's say you have a boom operator working with you, or you're not handling multiple tasks at the same time. This gives you the free advantage to focus on all of the channels all at once because you're not focused on boom operating and pointing the microphone in a specific direction, making sure it's a certain distance away from the actor that's speaking. But I mean, at the end of the day, the final decision is up to you whether or not you should auto mix or not auto mix at all. And if you choose not to auto mix for any specific reason on any project, make sure that the auto mix feature on that channel is turned off. Because chances are, you might think you're mixing certain channels, but the end result is the Zoom F6 is doing the mixing for you. So that's just something to keep in mind and be aware of. To learn more about recording wireless audio, click or tap the video you see right next to me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, once again, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos coming to you regarding audio production and video production. Thanks for spending your time with me, now let's go make some content.